send it straight to the HR uh, manager, a hiring manager, a recruiter, whatever. Immediately, I get a, I get a call back. It's so much quicker um, just because the the, the amount, the, uh, the vast you know, quantity of resumes and applications that they get um, are just ridiculous. And I like to think that uh, this this is you applying through an ACS, an applicant tracking system, and uh, this is when you send it to a person. So if I could uh, if I could say anything, that was a big uh, that was a big wake up call to me. Was just trying to get somebody at the organization person to get it straight to them. And, uh, so that helped a lot. Um, professional organization. Uh, this was really geared towards the organization uh, to which uh, people with IA degrees belong. And but I think that it would probably apply to any other organization. I, I'm pretty sure that every psychology field has their own. say um, most of them probably apply in this case. Um, but our field, IO psychology, is a very narrow, very small, um, very close-knit community. And the people that know one another, I mean, every interview, we, we have a, a yearly conference, and we have a placement center there, and we go on a quadrant job and set up interviews. And every interview I went on, uh, my professors knew somebody, or I knew somebody that knew them, or they knew whatever, or I went to the prom with their sister, or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's like something, I, I always had a connection um, of, of some sort. Um, but, and I will have to, this will be a little tangent for the IO psychology people in here. Um, our big conference is called PSYOP. And uh, I started applying early to, to PSYOP and got a bunch of interviews set up. And I went to the conference for me, my graduating year, the conference was simply about interviewing. I went to one session probably. And that was just my, that was my motive. That was my mission. I didn't go there to learn anything. I went there to get an interview, and I went there to get a job. And you know, that was one year I really didn't learn anything, and you know, maybe I missed out, but I was the first person in our graduating class I think to get a job, or one of the first. And so, you know, I say, you know, mission accomplished. But you know, go to these organizations, go to these conferences, and be prepared to get an interview. Uh, you know, day and night. They, uh, when I went to this conference, it was like three days. So I interviewed the first day. If they liked me, they called me back to interview the next day. If they liked me, they called me back to interview. And uh, it was literally, I was bouncing around, I was like juggling chainsaws, it was crazy. Uh, one time uh, I was staying with a roommate, you know, at the hotel, and I had to ask my roommate to uh, leave so I could take a phone call with like uh, one of the VPs of one of the companies that I was interviewing with. And the poor guy had to stay out of the room for like two hours. And, uh, and the worst thing, I didn't get that job. So. Uh, but, you know, I had to be prepared. Like I had to find a private room. You just gotta be on your toes, really. And uh, but those, those conferences, those organizational you know, settings, those are really good uh, ways to, to network and to, to get to, to know um, some people. And like I said, unfortunately, it's not, it's not who you know, or it's not what you know. It's still kind of who you know. Um, find out early who you're interviewing with, whether this is at a conference setting or at any setting. Get to know a lot about the company. Uh, learn as much as you can um, about that company. Don't take it overboard. Don't like, you know, friend request them. But um, you know, don't scare them. Like, oh, your blood type is O negative. Uh, just like learn some stuff about the company. You know what their interests are. Um, when I went to this conference, the one session I did go to was actually one that a guy that was interviewing me went to, that he was leading. And so I went to the session. I was like, oh, I'm all interested in this. I've never heard of this topic before. So, uh, it was a somewhat sly, but you know, it got me a job. So. Um, Job search, clean up your Facebook. Yeah. Uh, one of our students two years ago did a thesis on on social networks, and found that it references to alcohol, gambling, and anything like that in there can prevent you from getting a job. So go through, see what kind of pictures you're tagged in, see what you say, and clean it up when you're looking for a job because people are going to find it. And, and, going to see and you can argue all day that's not ethical, but you're not getting a job. So I mean, I would. Public domain. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. as much as we think that there's private information, it's, it's you know, several million people can see it. It's probably public. Yeah, you can stand on principle, but you and your principle will be on the same. So uh, I would clean up my Facebook page and uh, any other page for that matter. Um, I would I would Google myself. Just, you know, 
thank you emails are appropriate and like you don't overdo it the whole two line. Always always do that. That's just basic advice. Um, I would say uh, be open minded uh, both to 